What's up guys, this is Prefix Wiz coming at you with another Unity tutorial. Continuing our series on Unity tips and tricks, today we're going to talk about that text and trying to control that decimal point. Craziness, but we're going to do it right now. Double digit thousands. Text and trying to control that decimal point. Let's open up Unity. And let's go ahead and create a canvas. Well, I guess we'll do a panel, uh, some text. So now we have a uh, canvas panel and text. Let's go ahead and resize the text and center it. Let me see what we're looking at here. And we'll do center and best fit. Change the target graphic to a completely black. And we should be in good shape at that point. Okay, let's create our C sharp script. I just named it decimal point. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so simply in our update function, we got our time tutorial that is counting down by the second, which is from 200, so 200 counting backwards per second, and this is updating every frame, and we also have a decimal tutorial.txt, which is this here, and we're converting our float into a string so that it displays properly. And let's save that and go back into Unity. All right, and for this purpose, we'll just put the script on the canvas, and we'll Go ahead and drag the text over to the text field and we'll hit play. Okay, now we can see that the text that we're seeing that we're displaying is the time that is counting down from 200. So it's going down per second and we're not really controlling how it's displayed, but we can control it. So let me show you how. Let's go ahead and go back into the script. And it's very simple. All you have to do is in the to string is in quotations, if you put F0, that means zero decimal spaces, F1, for one, two for two, three for three, and so on. So let's start with F0, save it, let's go back into Unity. And then of course you can see that it's counting down by the whole second and that's it. Okay, let's try F1. Let's go ahead and hit play. And there we have one decimal space and it's counting down a little bit more accurate to the 10th of a second. So let's say you need, you have a super precise game and you want people to see it to the detailed second, millisecond, hundredth of a second, thousandth of a second. Then we're gonna go ahead and do, let's say, F4 for four decimal spaces. Let's go ahead and hit play. And there you have it. Super simple, super quick, but that's how you control decimal points in Unity using UI text. As always, I appreciate you watching my videos. I hope this helped you. If it did, hit that like button. In either case, don't forget to subscribe.